A Henrico police officer who shot and killed a 20 year old back in July has been honored for her actions. 8 News reporter Olivia Jakewith was on scene that day. She joins us live outside Henrico police headquarters after speaking with loved ones. Olivia. Well, Eric Deanna, the Valor Awards happen each year to honor first responders who've been nominated for acts of courage. But the family of Malachi Carroll, who was killed by police that day after authorities say he came at them and his grandmother with a knife, says there's more to this story. I'd rather him face in jail time to be dead. A father's plea for justice after his 20 year old son was killed in an officer involved shooting in Highland Springs back in July. I can't replace him. I can't replace that spirit. The officer who fired those fatal shots now being honored for her actions. Officer Shredda Ford received the Silver Valor Award earlier this month. Police crediting her with saving the lives of family members on scene that day, as well as her fellow responding officers. But Brandon Jordan, who was just across the street the day his son, Malachi Carroll, was killed, says there's more to the story. It's three male, one female. Not one of y'all decided to tase him when he was acting aggressively to bring him down. Now I got to go through all this to see a body cam footage. Like, it's bothering me because I had to watch my son get murdered twice. That's why he's been working to get body-worn camera video of what happened from the county, submitting legal information requests for documents like this one, a largely redacted incident crime report. Back in July, police say Carol tried to assault an officer and his grandmother with a knife inside this home on Elsing Green Court. The domestic incident turned deadly when authorities say Carol came at them, prompting Officer Ford to fire her weapon. The official cause of death, a gunshot wound to the chest. He's not bulletproof. So you telling me you shot him multiple times, he was still coming at you? Now, I reached out to police for clarification on what Jordan says happened that day. I've also requested access to body worn camera video, which has been denied, citing first the ongoing investigation and now legal action. Stay with us on air and online as we work to learn more. But for now, live in Henrico County, Olivia Jake with 8 News.